Once upon a time in the world of women's basketball, there was a team known for its legacy and success, the Seattle Storm. They had their golden era moments, like the dynamic duo of Lauren Jackson and Sue Bird, which resulted in two championships, one in 2004 and one in 2010. And most recently, the triumphant trio of Sue Bird, Brianna Stewart, and Jewel Lloyd, who also won two championships, one in 2018 and one in 2020. But then a wind of change swept through the Seattle storm during the past season. And there remained one player, Jewel Lloyd. Jewel Lloyd is a shining star of the 2015 draft. She burst onto the scene earning rookie of the year honors and was a key piece in helping the Seattle storm capture two championships. But this season, she did something extraordinary. She was the lone superstar for the Storm, and Jewel was nothing short of dominant. She shattered the WNBA scoring record, stacking up an astounding 939 points. That's even after missing two games. And according to Jewel Lloyd, spending most of the season injured. Her playing time hit an all-time high, averaging 35 minutes a game. Jewel made her way to the free throw line seven times a game. She dished out 3.4 assists per game, but it wasn't all gravy for Jewel this season. Her efficiency stats were not top notch. She had a negative 3.8 rating for efficiency. She had 2.8 turnovers a game, and she had a career low of 37% from the field. But even with all of that, Jewel Lloyd was Seattle's lifeline, the guiding light in a season filled with clouds. Though despite Jewel's heroic efforts, the Seattle Storm faced tumultuous seas, going two of eight in their last 10 games and ending the season with a 11 and 29 record. Truly a far cry from the glory days of making it to seven straight postseasons. The Seattle Storm's terrible season, coupled with Jewel Lloyd's dominance, led us to a pivotal point. Jewel Lloyd's decision as a unrestricted free agent. Would she stay or would she go? Well, she chose to plant her flag in Seattle, signing a two-year deal. The figures, a whopping $241,984 for the first season um, and just shy of the Supermax for the second. So why did Jewel decide to stay? I think it all boils down to two simple reasons, love and money. Jewel genuinely loves being a part of the Storm family and that feeling is mutual. After the announcement, Jewel took to Twitter with a message saying, I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations and you're not in this world to live up to mine. Seattle, we back. You see in Seattle, Jewel Lloyd isn't just a player. She is the main event. No longer is Jewel in the shadows of Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart. She's now the person at Center Sage. But here is the remarkable part. Jewel doesn't yearn to be with another superstar. She doesn't yearn to join um, another team and become a super team. She is content with the prospect of rebuilding in Seattle. Coach Noel Quinn commented on Jewel's uh, commitment to Seattle, uh, recognizing the rarity of such dedication in today's fast paced league. Uh, committing to a rebuilding phase is not an easy feat, uh, but Jewel is all in. Uh, Coach Quinn said, at this point, you could easily go chase something, but she's made the decision to stick with us. I give credit to our front office and our owners who poured into our team in a lot of ways. We see them all the time. They're here and they care. And I know Jewel feels that. Reflecting on her decision to stay with the Seattle Storm, Jewel shared with the Seattle Times, I didn't have to think about it seriously until a week ago. It's kind of hard to make decisions while you're in a season because you're not thinking about it. It takes a lot of energy and focus, but it didn't feel pressured or overwhelming. 
it was a feeling for me. At the end of the day, it was a pretty easy decision. Jewel Lloyd told her teammates that she was staying at Gabby Williams' birthday party, and of course, they were all very excited. And of course, um, like all things in the WNBA, money did play a role. According to The Athletic, Jewel's Supermax in the first year surpasses any other team's offer um, that she could have got, unless uh, she pursued a sign and trade deal. Um, and she smartly chose a two year contract. So she is poised to benefit from the new CBA, uh, which should come into effect in 2025. And that's a time where she will likely be able to experience a huge bump in the super max limit. So it's a way for her to maximize her dollars, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, now as a Sky fan, I was secretly hoping to see Jewel in a Sky jersey and I haven't given up on that hope yet. <laughs> I do admit there is a tinge of sadness the, that she is deciding to stay in Seattle instead of going home to Chicago or home to the Chicagoland area. Uh, but I am genuinely delighted to see players secure the bag and secure their future monetarily and thrive in a place that they seem happy in. Um, and it seems like that is the case for Jewel Lloyd. So I wish her nothing but success um, as she continues to go on in her career. And I hope that at some point she does end up with the Chicago sky. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the video. Uh, what are your thoughts about Jewel's decision to stay with the Seattle Storm? Uh, did you have a different team in mind for her? Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Also, if you like the style of this video, I was trying to go for a little bit of like storytelling. Um, let me know if that actually came through and if that was, if that actually sounded good or if it didn't, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? I make content all about women's basketball. And if you are interested in diving into how Jules' team, the Seattle Storm, fared this season, take a look at this video. Until next time, guys. Bye.